All right, we have a six crop system plus one. Every neighbor I have, almost every neighbor I have, has two crop rotation, corn, soybeans. That's it. That's all I do. We are up to six now, and it's not in any particular order. It's corn, soybeans, wheat, alfalfa, yellow field peas, and cattle. And the, and the plus one is what I call regen. Regen is when you take an acre out of production and you give it the full throttle soil health cocktail. You throw everything you can at it. So what this accomplishes, it starts to take away some of the excuses that I hear when I come this far north. We're too far north, it's too cold. Our growing season's too short. We don't have time to get the cover crops in. Well, Regen will give you that opportunity. Then the next question is, how can you afford to take an acre out of production? Well, first of all, that acre is not a total zero because you are building soil health, you're building organic matter, you're increasing your water holder capacity, you're doing all these good things to that, to that acre of ground. And what you have to stop doing is look at a single year snapshot of profitability. We look at it as a six year rotation. And then when you start to do the math and divide it by six, instead of looking at it as single, it starts to make sense. And it also gives you that opportunity to put those, those cover crops out. Wheat was also mentioned in this system. Wheat is another opportunity. We do not double crop any, any crops behind wheat. That is the opportunity to either establish an alfalfa crop or get your cocktail where you want it for next year's cash crop. 1,200 acres certified organic currently. The, the remainder of the farm is in transition. We will be there by next year. What, this is a daunting task. This is very, very difficult to convert this many acres to organic. And when I say organic, we are even beyond what I call organic. There's no tillage. We are doing this all cover crop, all no-till, and, and it's, it's basically a three-pass system, and I'll get into that deeper. Now, this is not going to be an organic presentation, but what I want to show you is you can, you can come almost as far as I've come and still see huge benefits and reduction of inputs, save money, and, and start building soil health on your own farm. Now, I'm way over there on this island because I am on an island. I don't know of too many people that are doing what I'm doing as far as no tillage organic on this kind of scale. So if you want to come over there, I'd love to have you because I could use some company, but you're going to see that we can meet somewhere on this curve. We use no starter fertilizer, and we've been in that position now for about eight years. No fungicide, no seed treatment, no insecticide, no phosphorus, no potassium, and no ag lime applied in seven years. And we continually soil test. I just got the latest test back. Every field is either the same as it was three years ago or higher in every one of those categories of P and K. Our, our pH on the farm is 6.8 and rising and we haven't put any lime on in seven years. Now, when you start to think about what we've done, we have taken away the acids and the salts and the chemicals that are absolutely scorching the soil profile and destroying the beneficial species of microbes. That's why we can get away with this stuff. And it's because we've been farming green for 10 years, and I'm gonna to get to that in just a moment. We've applied no nitrogen now in two years, and that includes manure. Now, I know I'm in, in the manure country. I know that. I have a dairy in my backyard. I have, the, I have 2,000 acres that touch their drag line, and I take none of their manure. I am of the opinion, we used to. We used to raise non-GMO corn for the dairy that supplied Dannon. It was the very first... Uh, dairy that, that supplied the world with non-GMO yogurt. We used to raise silage for them. 
the rule of thumb I made was I would only raise silage on acres that would touch that drag line because you cannot get those nutrients back through just cover crops alone. So I get that. I've been in that world. But what I've found is when we apply this manure, and, and we were putting it on at 20,000 gallons, that's a lot. Um, that's too much shock to the system. It's hurting the microbes. They can't recover. They all won't recover. Some are gonna die and they're not coming back. At that kind of a number, it's too much. So if you have the ability to cut those numbers in half, maybe even go down to 5,000 gallons in certain locations, please try that. Now, I'm very stubborn, and I have decided that I'm going to do this with no help whatsoever. That's why I've taken everything away. So we are growing our nitrogen with legumes. Everything is done as naturally as we can possibly do it.